to the Royal Observatory of Edinburgh virtual world. And what I'm going to be doing is using uh, Stellarium to uh, guide us around um, some of the stars that you'll be able to see in the summer skies. I've decided that tonight we're going to focus on just the things that we're going to be able to see with our own eyes, because um, not everyone has telescopes, but there's still lots of really awesome things out there. Um, for those of you who know Edinburgh, the Royal Observatory is on Blackford Hill. Um, and you can see the view here out on our rooftop um, and you can see Arthur's seat and also um, Edinburgh Castle. So um, let's advance time and see our sun set. Um, and we'll see what stars are going to come out in our night sky. Um, so the first stars I want to show you are the um, sort of most obvious things in the summer sky. And we call this the summer triangle. Um, Vega, Deneb and Altair. Now um, you'll be able to find them because they are literally the brightest stars in the night sky in the summer. So all you need to do is to go out there. It doesn't matter if you're in a, in a bright urban location, you will still see the summer triangle. And uh, I'm gonna tell you some cool facts about the summer triangle, because I think when we look up at the stars, it's really important to really think where that light comes from. So let's start with Vega. Now, Vega is um, a sun. It's about the tenth of the age of our own sun. Um, it's really interesting, Vega, because it's got a disk of dust um, around it where planets are forming. Could well be life forming around Vega. Um, now, the light uh, from Vega is created in a very hot, burning ball of gas. It is a fusion reaction happening in the core between hydrogen and helium. And once that's light's been created in the core of Vega, it takes 25 years for it to travel across the galaxy um, towards us on Earth. So when you look up at Vega, I want you to think about what you were doing 25 years ago when that light left Vega. Um, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that I was um, dancing in my room to Spice Girls, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want, <laughs> because uh, the Spice Girls released their debut uh, single 25 years ago when that light uh, left Vega. So uh, I wonder what you guys were doing um, 25 years ago. That's Vega, top of the summer triangle up here. Um, now, uh, let's think about Altair. Um, down here. Now, um, the light from Altair hasn't travelled for quite as long as the light from Vega, only 17 years it's taken the light for us to uh, reach us from Altair. Um, I, I don't know what you guys were doing 17 years ago, but it was the first episode of Strictly Come Dancing uh, broadcasted on BBC um, and also the birth of Facebook. I, I know a lot of us think Facebook's been around for a long time, but uh, when you look up at Altair, that light left when Facebook didn't even exist. Um, now, what's interesting about Altair is uh, it's, it's giving itself a bit of a headache. Um, now, Vega is, is quite like our own sun. Um, our sun is a, um, a sphere, much like this, this basketball, and it takes about a month uh, to fully rotate around. Um, now, Altair is very different um, from our own sun and um, Vega in that it's spinning really, really fast. Um, it only takes nine hours for Altair to do one full rotation. So it actually ends up looking hmm, like a rugby ball. OK, so when you look up at Altair, I want you to imagine, think about that burning ball of gas that's spinning so fast. It's giving itself a crazy headache and flattening down to look like um, a rugby ball. Let's move on to the third star in the summer triangle, Deneb, over here. Now... When we look at Vega and Alta, we can imagine what we were doing, or we can remember what we were doing 25 and 17 years ago. Now, Deneb, the light from Deneb that we're seeing today, it left Deneb when Nebuchadnezzar was being crowned king of Babylon. Yes, when he started building his hanging gardens of Babylon, that is how long it's taken the light to reach us from Deneb, 2,616 years. And what's interesting, when you look up at the summer triangle, you'll see that Denim, Vega and Altair all look about the same brightness. Um, now, I want you to imagine that you are very rich and have a really big garden. Wouldn't it be lovely to have a really big garden? Okay, So 
you are uh, in your garden and uh, you're going to send someone off walking down your garden, backing away from you and they're holding a torch. All right. And um, so when they're close to you, that torch will look bright. And when they're further away, that torch will look uh, much dimmer. And you'll be able to guess how far down the garden they are by how bright the torchlight looks. The fact that we see Deneb, Vega and Altair to be the same brightness, even though Deneb is much, 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 much further away, it's taken 2,616 years for that light to reach us. That tells us that Deneb is a really super, super bright star, much, much brighter than our own sun and Vega and Altair. It is 200 thousand times brighter than our own sun. If Deneb was here in our own solar system, it would be so fat, it would come all the way out to the orbit of Earth. That is how monstrous Deneb is. So go out, find the summer triangle, think of Vega and the Spice Girls, Altair and the Spinning Headache, Deneb, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and a really fat star that's 200 times larger than our own sun. And I want you to just marvel at that gorgeous summer triangle. So uh, what you're seeing now, I've set Stellarium to give us the, the type of night sky that we would typically see in an urban location. Um, now in Scotland, where I am, we are incredibly lucky that the most of Scotland, even though most of us don't live in these regions, but a lot of Scotland has incredibly, incredibly dark skies. Um, Scotland has two internationally recognised dark skies, one in the Cairngorms and one in the Galloway. And these are internationally recognised as places where there is no light pollution. Um, so what I'm going to do now is turn off the light pollution in Edinburgh uh, with the power of Stellarium and you'll see what... Uh, we can see, you know, suddenly, zing, all of these stars appear out of the night sky and you can see passing between Vega and Alter in that summer triangle. So if you draw a line from Deneb to the middle of Vega and Alter, you can see all of this light in between and that is our Milky Way galaxy. If you're lucky enough to get into one of these international dark sky parks, and you're lucky enough for the Scottish weather to clear, not always a given, uh, then you can see this Milky Way galaxy with your own eyes. Now, let me try and explain what's going on here. I have created a galaxy in my living room out of a plate. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> this is uh, my model of the Milky Way galaxy. Um, so this is our, um, we, we don't know really what our Milky Way galaxy looks like because we haven't sent anything out of our Milky Way galaxy, but we think it, it, it's a spiral galaxy um, like this galaxy here. Now, when uh, our Milky Way galaxy formed, it was spinning. So, um, you know, I was talking about how Altair was spinning and ended up looking like a rugby ball. It's the same with our galaxy. It spun so much that it ends up as a, uh, a disc. OK, so our galaxy, our own Milky Way galaxy isn't like a, a, a sphere. It's actually disc like like this and it's spinning around. Now, at the center of our Milky Way galaxy is a massive, supermassive black hole. And you have all of these stars swirling around it. Um, there are, if you uh, if you want to know, there are at least three or four stars per human being on planet Earth. OK, so there are seven billion humans on planet Earth. Each one of those humans gets to pick three or four um, stars in the Milky Way to make up all of the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. There are huge numbers of them. Now, why do we see the Milky Way galaxy as a stripe across the sky passing through Deneb between Vega and Altair? Well, it's because our Milky Way is a disk. So um, here I am, <laughs> my little observer here, and I'm going to um, put my observer in the galaxy roughly where we are in the Milky Way galaxy. Um, so uh, we are sort of halfway in between uh, the center of our galaxy and out. Uh, if we wanted to travel all the way to the black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, it would take us 200, uh, no, 26,000 light years. So uh, a pretty long distance. All right, now, um, okay, so here I am, my observer on the disc. Now, if I look up or if I look down, I don't see very many stars um, because my galaxy is a disc. But if I look out along the disc, to continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below.
or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.